welcome back to another episode of the Virtual Teaching Kitchen. I'm Chelsea, this is Amanda. Today we are going to be showing you how to make smoothies and we'll also kind of show you some modifications, substitutions, if you would prefer to change things to your taste preferences. So let's dive in. All right. So to start, we're gonna have a base of um, almond milk. Here we're using unsweetened, but you could use regular milk, you could use coconut milk. I think coconut milk would actually be pretty flavorful. Um, we have got some plain Greek yogurt here. Uh, welcome to substitute that. Then we have got our mango, and I also added um, some strawberries as well to kind of add in some more fruit there. And with the mango, that's frozen mango. That's gonna help really kind of provide more thickness to your smoothie, and it's also gonna provide that kind of refreshing cold element because it's frozen. Then we have got zucchini, the sneaky veggie that I said we were gonna add in there. I left the skin on. Um, that's gonna provide a little bit more fiber. If you prefer though, you are welcome to take the skin off. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started in making our smoothie. So I have went ahead and I've already added about half a cup, um, like I mentioned in the ingredients. Go ahead and add as much um, almond milk to your liking. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll add the Greek yogurt, and actually I put out a couple different options here. So I'm using um, plain, you could use vanilla, but there's also, um, I really like the Chobani brand, so what I have is Chobani. Um, you could use strawberry yogurt, and that would actually go pretty well because we're putting strawberries in the smoothie. Or you could even use, I have this, like a single serving of mango yogurt, and that would just help kind of bring out the mango flavor. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, we'll add our yogurt. Okay. Next up, we have got the zucchini. One thing I wanted to mention about the zucchini is what I actually did is I, you can see that I already sliced up my zucchini, but I actually steamed the zucchini for about probably like three to four minutes. This kind of helps just moisten the zucchini and make it a little bit soft. So we'll go ahead and we'll add in our zucchini. And then, like I mentioned before, we're using um, frozen mango to kind of make it more cold, make it a little bit more smooth. And then, I'm actually using fresh strawberries, but you could use frozen. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and blend that all up. Okay. We've got our mango strawberry smoothie ready to try. Cheers. Cheers. Can you taste the zucchini? Mm, no, no, not at all. Not mango, at all. I guess the mango kind of like overpowers it and I love mango, so that's really good, refreshing, wow. Yes, the steaming helps kind of get the strong zucchini flavor out of there. You can't even taste I it. it. I love it. Hidden vegetable. Yeah. <laughs> So you're going to need five simple ingredients to make your pumpkin spice smoothie. It's going to make around three to four servings for you. So ingredient number one, you're going to need one cup of old fashioned rolled oats. You're going to need one cup of Greek yogurt, whichever kind you want. You could do vanilla, um, you could do plain, and then you're going to need two cups uh, cups of pumpkin spice puree. So make sure that it's a puree. It's not going to be a pumpkin pie mix. It could be more sugar in there. Um, you're also going to need um, around three to four dates. You can add in more to make it a little bit more sweet. Natural da uh, dates is a great way to sweeten up your smoothie. So to taste kind of whatever you like. And then also you're going to need a couple more spices. So you can add in some cinnamon to taste, also ground cloves to taste. Um, yeah. All right, now we're just gonna add everything right into our blender, easy as pie. So we're gonna start with our pumpkin. Just add it all in here. And I don't know about you guys, but I freaking love pumpkin. And especially when fall comes around, it's about time. So just gonna add this all in here. I already have the milk added, as you can see. All right, next I'm just gonna go in with our yogurt. 
Mmm. I wish you guys could smell this. in our cinnamon. There we go. Our oats. One cup of oats. All right. And then again, four to five dates to taste. I'm gonna add in five because I have a sweet tooth. <laughs> All right, and last ingredient, cinnamon. I'm adding in one half teaspoon to taste whatever, whatever you like the best. And easy as pie, we're gonna blend it. you guys so we're gonna have Chelsea try out our pumpkin spice smoothie I did put it in the fridge for about 20 minutes to help it get a little bit thicker um, so let's give it a try do you like pumpkin I love pumpkin okay so. all right I'll just do a little bit here okay and then I would love to try it too I love pumpkin this is so exciting <laughs> cheers uh, cheers <laughs> Mm, I like it. What do you think? Delicious. That is Tastes pretty good. Like pumpkin pie. Yeah, yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, awesome. I might add a little bit more cinnamon because I love cinnamon, but everything tastes really good. Perfect. Awesome. Thank so you. thanks again, guys, for joining for another episode of the Teaching Kitchen. We hope to see you again soon. Yeah. Bye.